So I bought this at the Akron Derby Downs BMX track. I'd say this might be 2004, something like that. It's a felt 24 inch aluminum BMX bike. This is 7005 aluminum. Uh, you can always tell real quick by how fat these welds are. It's got like a gusset here. Aluminum does like to crack, the welds like to crack. Engine and A threadless, of course. Uh, it's got some steel, little steel bars on it. Got Tektro brakes. Kind of cheap, but they did put this little felt little tag on there to kind of dress it up. Now, this is a pad here that's. I'm sure all this probably came with it. I think this was probably like an $800 bike. It's got intense tires with Alex rims. Doesn't say anything about being double wall, but they are. I did check them. Kermale forks here. It's a Cane Creek headset. That cap says felt racing, but. So it's a sector, three, three piece cranks. These are Odyssey, some kind of junky pedals. Um. Not sure what teeth I got on this um, seat post. I'm not sure what this seat is. It's almost like duct tape. It looks like duct tape. I'm pretty much over 20 inch bikes at this stage of the game. So even riding this thing with just the one gear, I don't really ride this that much. But this is basically my nostalgic BMX bike, collector bike that I do I do ride a little bit I got people definitely like the 24 inch 20 inch looks like a little kids bike it does have the chain adjusters here spindles are sealed you can tell by this little guy here quarter inch dropouts sealed so this bike comes in at 26.1 pounds not terrible but a little bit on the heavy side this is the bike i ride the most it's a Jamus allegro 2.0 like road tires on it it is super light 6061 t6 let me know in the comments what you guys know about those two different types of aluminum tektra 1.0 kind of crappy brakes actually the cables are shot doesn't look like seal bearings to me on these hubs. Uh, I do believe these forks are carbon fiber though. They do have, I'm pretty sure they are. And we got a Cane Creek headset right here. So I do have a speedometer, that's what this is. A Presto, Presto fit or whatever. Stems, Presto valve I think they call it. So you gotta have an adapter. To fill these Vero FSA cranks. Not sure if these are something that Jameis makes or not. This is not a Walmart bike by it, by any stretch at all, but it's kind of a entry level, somewhat entry level bike. Uh, rides really nice. San Marco seat. Jameis comes in at 23.4 pounds. And moving down, lastly, I have a Schwinn Homegrown. In its day was the top of the line mountain bike. Disc brakes before disc brakes were a thing. They actually run off true hydraulic oil. It even has, here's a little bleeder right here. Bomber shocks here, Mar Marzak. Marzachi. From what I know, this bike was like somewhere around three grand the way it is. I actually got it from my uncle. I did a job for him, and he, at the point when I got it, he was not as interested in it as he originally was when he first bought it. He had kind of had been sitting in his basement for a little while, and I worked a deal to get this by doing some work at his house. I actually got that bike too uh, on a job. I worked it into the deal, they threw it in while I was putting a lawn install for that one. This, I did like filling around a porch or something. We got race face cranks. 
I added these pedals. He had like clipless pedals on it. I think that's what you call them, clipless. Um, so there's where the home ground sticker was. It's too bad that got messed up. This thing's gotten a little banged up, but this is all painted on. This is a carbon fiber frame right here, and then it goes to aluminum here. Um, I added the blue tires. I think this is just 27 inch race face seat stem, race face uh, stem here. These are carbon fiber handlebars. King Creek headset. I mean, this was a bad boy 25 years ago now. The Schwinn comes in at 31.2 pounds. All right, that's pretty much it for my bikes. I just have three bikes right now. Um, let me know what you guys think if you like bike videos. I had to do it, you know.